As I said in a previous video, God wants us to get to know Him. He wants to reveal Himself to us, and He wants to show us what His plan is. But what exactly is it that God wants to reveal? What is the grand plan? God's loving and good plan is to give Himself to us. His plan is to give us access to God the Father, through Jesus Christ, in the Holy Spirit. Now that's kind of worth repeating. God wants to reveal Himself to us. He wants to give Himself to us. How? Through Jesus Christ, in the Holy Spirit. But what do I mean when I say that it's God's plan to reveal Himself to us, or to give Himself to us? I have to admit that even though I've been a Christian for years, that question has always kind of puzzled me. What does it mean for God to give Himself to us? Well, I couldn't unpack it even if I were a much, much brighter Catholic, which I'm not. But the Bible describes it kind of like this. God wants us to share in His divine nature. In other words, He wants us to share in His life. It's like God wants to adopt us and make us part of his family in Jesus Christ. And more than that, God doesn't just reveal himself and say, okay, get to know me. He even gives us the ability to know him and to love him far beyond anything that we could do on our own. But it's a slow process. I mean, you can imagine that if, if getting to know the field of medicine takes years and years and years, uh, how long do you think it's going to take to know God, to know him in all his fullness and all his glory? quite a long time. Don't think years, think centuries. This is why so much seems different between a lot of the older books of the Bible and the newer books of the Bible. In the older books you find all these various laws and, and you know, dietary restrictions and things that were done back then um, that seem very different from the sorts of things that Jesus Christ talked about in the Gospels or the kind of things that the disciples wrote to the different churches. You can think of humanity as like a child over the last few centuries growing up into manhood. We don't discipline a three-year-old or teach things about the world to a three-year-old the same way we would to, say, a teenager or to an adult. It's not just individuals that need to learn how to grow in a greater knowledge and love of God. Humanity needs to grow up too.